Most people don't really understand how it works or why it's so important. It's shaping your life. It's deciding what, what is AI actually doing behind the scenes. Should I be scared or excited? AI isn't some magic brain or a robot that's thinking like you and me. At its core, AI is about... Think about how a baby learns. At first, they don't know much. You take a pile of data, feed it to a machine and tell it, hey, find a pattern here. But don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Neural networks are basically algorithms modeled loosely after the human brain. It's not seeing a cat or a tree the way we do. It is just crunching numbers and following patterns. Sometimes it messes up in a way that a human would never do. All right, let's start this with a question. How many times in the last week have you heard someone say, AI is changing everything? Probably a lot, right? But here's the thing. Most people don't really understand how it works or why it's so important. It's like this mysterious black box that's somehow running the world now. And if you're sitting there thinking, why should I even care? Let me tell you something. AI isn't just for techies or Silicon Valley billionaires. It's shaping your life. It's deciding what you see on social media, how fast your package gets delivered, and even how your next job interview might go. So if you've ever wondered, what is AI actually doing behind the scenes? Or should I be scared or excited? This is the conversation that will answer those questions for you. By the end of this conversation, you'll have a clear understanding of how AI really works, why it matters, and what it means for you, whether you're a business owner, an employee, or just someone trying to keep up with the times. So uh, let's dive in. All right, uh, let's talk about AI or artificial intelligence and how it actually works. No jargon, no overly complicated nonsense, just a clear, simple breakdown, like you and I are sitting across the table chatting about it. So here's the thing. AI isn't some magic brain or a robot that's thinking like you and me. At its core, AI is about teaching machines to recognize patterns, make decisions, and solve problems based on data. And that's the key word here, data. Without data, AI is like a car without a gas. It doesn't go anywhere. So let's break it down even further. Think about how a baby learns. At first, they don't know much, but over time, they see patterns. Like when they cry, someone comes to feed them. Eventually, they connect the dots. Ah, if I do that, this happens. AI works kind of like that, except instead of milk, it's feeding on numbers, images, and text. Whatever you give it. Now, let's talk about the gears inside this thing. One big piece of AI is machine learning, or ML for short. Here's how that works. You take a pile of data, feed it to a machine, and tell it, hey, find a pattern here. It doesn't know what to look for at first, but over time, it starts spotting connections. For instance, if you show it thousands of photos of cats, it eventually learns. Oh, cats have pointy ears, whiskers, and tails. So the next time you show it a photo, it can say, yep, that's a cat. Then there is deep learning, which is like machine learning on steroids. It uses something called neural networks. You've probably heard the term, but don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Neural networks are basically algorithms modeled loosely after the human brain. They have layers, and each layer processes the information a little differently. For example, let's say you are training an AI to recognize handwritten numbers. One layer might focus on shapes, like curves or straight lines. Another layer might figure out, okay, this combination of shapes looks like a three. By the end of it, the AI spits out a result. This is a three. But here's the wild part. AI doesn't really know what's it looking at. It's not seeing a cat or a three the way we do. It is just crunching numbers and following patterns. 
That's why sometimes it messes up in a way that a human would never do. Like you might show it a photo of a dog and if the lighting is weird or the angle is off, it could say, yep, that's a cat. And you're like, no, it's not. That's because it doesn't understand. It is just following what it learned. 